Hey everybody, today we're gonna decide which one of these is the best tool for fetch when it comes to uh, getting our dogs a good exercise. We've got the Nerf Dog Blaster and we've got the, uh, the good old fashioned, the reliable Chuck It. Uh, I don't even know what you call it, it's just the Chuck It arm. So uh, let's get to the video. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to um, comment about, I, the, the Nerf Dog Blaster comes with four tennis balls. The great thing is, is the tennis balls also fit in the Chuck It uh, tool, the medium sized Chuck It tool. So I'm going to use the same Nerf tennis balls so that they're dealing with the same weight and you can kind of get an idea of which one's going to send them further. It, distance is a big deal when it comes to giving your large breed dogs uh, exercise, especially right now. Um, I've got some pretty big issues when it comes to uh, rules and regulations, city, city, uh, city ordinances, uh, and, and dogs, because most city ordinances require that your dog stays on leash. The problem is, is when we take our bigger dogs out for walks, walking at our speed isn't a good enough exercise for our dogs. And so you'll have to take them for a two hour walk, a three hour walk, just to get the kind of exercise they need. So playing fetch is really going to be um, critical in keeping your dog healthy, uh, especially cardiovascularly. And so tools like this are nice because it reduces the strain on our arm uh, and it lets us play longer. Uh, so let's, let's do the, the Nerf gun first, load the ball in there and then you cock it this way. And then That's about all the distance you get. Now, before we talk about distance, one of the things that I've got that I noticed is I was having my nephew try it earlier today, and it took uh, it took everything he could to pull that trigger. So the trigger pull on this is extremely heavy, uh, and it requires a, a large amount of force when you consider what it should do. Um, the one nice thing about this, like the chuck it, is you can pick it up without touching the ball. What? Hey, go get that ball and bring it back here. Um, you can pick the ball up without touching it, which is kind of nice. You don't get the slobber and the nasty all over your hands. Um, but you can see it's not really that big of a, it's not, it's, it's not throwing the ball very far. Hey, Ivy, bring it here. Bring that to daddy. Yeah, bring it over here. You throw it. Oh, that was a pretty good throw. Good job. <laughs> so like I say, you can pick it up without, uh, without doing that. Now, again, once you've got it up there at the front, you push this device forward and then pull it back to cock it. And we'll shoot one more. Hey, watch out there, turkey. Here, watch, go over there by chasers. One, two, three, hurry fast. <laughs> All right, here we go. So they suggested about a 45 degree angle All right, so that's about 22, that's 22 paces of my size, whatever that is, 22 yards, um, more or less. Now I'm gonna do, take the same ball and with the chuck it, the medium chuck it, I'm gonna throw this and see how much farther it goes. Uh, to be honest, my guess is that I'm gonna go at least twice as far. Uh, and one of the benefits then is you're just, every throw your dog's eating twice as much exercise. So let me go ahead and give this a whirl. Oh, well not when I do it like that. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> this time I won't, my, my wind up won't be so crazy. <sighs> you can see it's nestled back there in the tree. I'll go ahead and count that off, but I'm, I'm almost sure it's gonna be double and I didn't even get a full roll, so. Yeah, so way more, I mean, you're, you're more than double uh, that. Uh, I was at 53 uh, paces versus 22 paces. Um, and I didn't, again, I didn't even get the full roll with the chuck it. So the reality is, as you really do, your dog's gonna get a much better exercise if you've got the chuck it. Uh, the one drawback to the chuck it, I would say, I guess, um, is, is it you saw, I, I mean, I exaggerated that back throw and it came out the wrong way. 
younger kids might have a, a more difficult time using the the chuck it just figuring out the coordination of that of that uh of that action uh for for younger kids this would be ideal if it wasn't for the fact that it's got that hard trigger pull um so i think really the answer is uh practice with the chuck it and uh, it won't take them long before they'll they'll get that figured out uh so when it comes to exercising your dog I still think the Chuck It is, is perhaps the best tool on the market. I'll put links to that, to my favorites down there. I also really like these Chuck It. Uh, they're, they're, not the, they're, they're not the fleece. I'm not really fond of the, the fleece like you got on a tennis ball. It can be bad for a puppy's teeth. Uh, so if you've got a young dog, I like these harder uh, Chuck It medium balls. They're called the Ultras. I'll put a link to those down in the, in the uh, comments section as well, or down in the details section. Uh, if you've got questions or if you've got tools or instruments that you'd love to see me review or that you've used and you really like, please leave a comment down below and we'll, uh, we'll get those videos out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Dog, uh, dog Focus Training. Okay, now just throw this and see how far you can throw it. No, just with your arm. Yeah, just with your arm. Yeah, go ahead. Now he gets to go get it out of the tree. Ah!